introducing my perfect petite setup. Hey y'all, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you what I think is my perfect petite setup inside of this Erin Condren on the go folio system. This setup is going to be a part of my system moving forward. The items inside of this folio will remain as long as they are functioning for the season of life that I'm in. And I will make the necessary adjustment to the system accordingly, right? Now I've been using uh, one of this item inside of this system for, oh my gosh, I can't even tell you how long, maybe a year and a half now. And it is so, <laughs> just so perfect and I did something to make it a little bit more perfect <laughs> so I can't wait to share that with you before I jump right into this I want to say thank you to Tori over at Erin Condren I was provided with the credit to be able to get uh, most of these items so that I can share it with you and give you my honest thoughts and opinion on them I absolutely love it. So let me just say that <laughs> off, the, off the top. I love every single thing that is in here and you will see why once we dive in. The first item up is the Erin Condren On The Go Folio cover. This cover is available on the website so you can go and check it out. I do have links in the description box down below that you can use to get to the website. They are affiliate links and they help to support this channel. So I ask you to please go ahead and use the links down there. Whether you're registering for the first time with Erin Condren or if you're a returning user, I appreciate that support. Now, I use this folio every single month and I've had it for about 18, no, 12, 13, 15 months, about 15, 16 months now. This is a new one. It is the Wonder Woman folio. This is a collaboration that Erin Condren recently did with Wonder Woman. And so I love the covers. I am the kind of person that needs to change up her covers, who needs to change things up a bit. So um, I'm happy that I have options. If you purchased one of these, let me know if you have it down in the description box down below. It's so soft. It is one of the softest, softest covers that Erin Condren has. And so I love this Wonder Woman one. It is gold. Um, hopefully you can see that uh, pretty good. And I love it. So I switch these up about every single month. I switch between them. Sometimes if I cannot wait for the month to be over, I find myself switching every three weeks. So it's really every three to four weeks that I do switch things up. And I switch things up because I need to keep it fresh, right? The way my um, brain works, it really needs to do that. Now let's look inside and see what the first petite is that I do have in my perfect petite lineup. This is something new um, that I have not previously used, but I am starting to use it for the month of May. And... I'm already excited about how I'll be using this. I've had time to think about what is necessary and what is needed in my planning system right now. And so this is going to assist me in keeping certain things separate. This is the customizable monthly calendar. It is available on the Erin Condren website and it's in the wedding collection. You go ahead and find 12 monthly layouts the monthly layouts are undated. You'll get a note page. You'll get this um, quote page. And then you'll go over into the undated monthly. Um, they all look the same exact way. No difference between any of the months. You go over, lined note page, quote, and then you get to the next monthly. After the monthlies, you get some additional line pages. I believe there's 11 or 12 of them in here. Then you get the some stickers, some coordinating stickers that goes with it. It has a lot of gold foil details, as you can see in the planner. So I love this. 
Um, I like this because I'm able to customize it to what I need. I'm able to make it look different. <laughs> we've gone from, hold on, we've gone from this to this. So this is what my first month looked like, which is the month of May. Now for this monthly spread, if you're interested in the stickers, I did use this monthly uh, sticker sheet from Erin Condren, but this one was a part of a kit that had four. I purchased it in the warehouse sale, so and I have not seen this on the website as yet. They do have, Erin Condren does have this separately, not in this color co combination. You can customize your color. It is a um, Old Joy collaboration, but I don't remember the name of this. So if I find out the name, I will put it on the screen for you. So what am I going to be doing with this? But before we get to that, now the monthly stickers I previously purchased a long, long, long time ago. These sticker sheets from Joann's and they are gold and they're uh, Heidi Swap. I believe these were Heidi Swap ones. And I mean, it's been such a long time since I have these and I have not been using them for anything. And so now they're coming in so handy so that I can use them to date my undated planner. So for this month, I've used, in addition to the that sticker kit, this is the Erin Condren um, sticker album. And I've placed my lots of my stickers inside of here. I've placed the monthly sticker book, <laughs> stickers, I've taken them out and I've placed it in here. So I've used the May monthly. So a lot of the stickers came from that. This is sticker book number five. And this is monthly collection edition number four. I also used a few stickers from the May in number four. So the bottom washi I used from here as well as the heart this lavender. So I love how the sticker books coordinate with each other so that I'm able to create a beautiful spread. I use the quote from here and I even picked a sticker, I believe from another one of these days. Which one was it? I picked a sticker from another one of these. Oh, here on the other page. Hold on. This is the note page. So I picked this sticker right here from another page. And so the pages have stickers that can coordinate in there. So those are the items that I use as far as stickers. Now, how I intend to use this monthly setup is as follows. On the sidebar, I want to you write down what sticker books I'm going to be using to decorate my planner for the month. So each week and the starting date, which is the Mondays usually in other planners, um, so it starts on Mondays. So I go ahead and I write in here what that Monday's date is and what book I'm going to be using. It helps me to pre-plan my sticker usage and I don't have to worry about it. I pre-plan for the quarter and so I've set up May. So I got to go in now and set up June so that I don't have to be concerned about what I'm using for the quarter. I also um, have written down my folio cover, which is the Wonder Woman cover that I will be using. That's this. I'm also going to be switching out my Erin Condren Life Planner cover. And I've got to switch out my Happy Planner cover. So I've got to find one that I'm going to use for that. So everything kind of coordinates because I like coordinating. <laughs> I do. Let me know if you like coordinating as well. So those are going to be tracked here on this. I'm also going to track upcoming planner spending that I anticipate for the month. I anticipate the Erin Condren surprise box will probably drop in the month of May. And I'm anticipating that my Simply Gilded sub box is going to come out for the month of May as well. And so I will probably be getting those. For these dailies, I did put this as Mother's Day and I'm going to be using them to track hay. On Instagram, what do I want to post for that day on Instagram? Um, so this is basically just a lot of help me to plan my planner for the month. Help me to keep a track of what I should be expecting to spend on planner supplies and what I'd like to be posting on Instagram if anything special 
and also for the Facebook group. I do have a Facebook group, All Things Planner Related, so feel free to join us over on the Facebook group. So that's how I'll be using this customizable monthly petite planner. If you have any questions on this, ask in the comment section down below and I will get back to you. The next item that I have inside of this is going to be this um, Erin Condren Folio Organizer. Now, I'm sure you've seen this Folio Organizer already. Um, I did turn mine inside out. I love to turn mine inside out so that I can have this large pocket on the front. It allows me to put stickers inside and give a decorative edge to what I have inside or in between. This sticker that you're looking at right now, these are the Cherry Blossom High Gloss stickers. They are the puffy stickers. And I love how it looks on here. And then when you go to the back, it has like a silver look to it on the back. So silver here and gold here. If I want to, I can turn the page over so I can have silver on the front and gold on the back. I did put also this um, Erin Condren um, pen loop on here. Now this is a elastic pen loop with the gold. They do come with rose gold, silver um, as well. And then there are some additional colors that you can choose from on the website. This is the one that came in the three pack. I love using this organizer because I can put the um, pen loop on it and I can move it from folio to folio instead of having it on a notebook that I'm not going to use or a petite planner that I'm not going to use in the next planner, in the next folio, I'm sorry. If you look very closely, you will see that my um, pen loop is on a little crooked, but I'm okay with that because it's on the inside. That's one of the main reasons why I put it on the inside. Sometimes things just don't go on straight, if you know what I mean. And so I would rather it be on crooked on the back side and then my pen is on just how I would like it than the other way around. So um, folio organizer along with this cherry blossom high gloss stickers. Getting to probably my bestest, my most excitingest item that I have inside here is my daily petite planner. This is the dated daily planner and as you can see I have the regular cover and then I have this cover which is from the Erin Condren with Wonder Woman collection um, petite journal this is a lined petite journal it says be the hero Wonder Woman with the blue I simply adore this now Tamara how did you get this on here I will link a video up above for you in the card, or if you go to the end of this video, I will link the video below. What I did do was I took out the seams, the thread out the seams, and took apart this um, petite journal, as well as my daily planner, and I put them together to really and truly form the absolute Oh my gosh, the perfect daily petite for me. I have a note page on one side so that I'll be able to take notes um, while I have my daily plans on this side with details. And so with every single day, every single day, I have a note sheet that goes with that day. And then on the weekends, of course, one note sheet goes with both days. Where I'm fine with that because I don't need too much on the weekends at all. Um, and so this is my, I can't even tell you how much I love and I adore this. Um, blank, let's get you one that looks, that's plain. So here we go. So it looks like this and with the note sheet. It comes without the note sheet in between, of course, like I said. And but I needed that I needed that extra space and it's been working out so good for me this quarter I did it this quarter and I will be doing this again next quarter I will let you know that I did not re-sew this back up that was one of the questions um, that I did get I did not re-sew it back up it is still loose but the strings 
from the planner actually holds it in pretty tightly so I don't have to worry about sewing it back up right now. This baby is super, super thick, y'all. When I say super thick, she is super thick. You can see it right here how thick it is because it's basically, this is basically two petites in one, so it's super thick. And I'm okay with how thick it is. I don't have to baby it either, so there's nothing to worry about on that aspect. So let me know what you think of this. One thing I would like to mention to you on this daily planner is that I do use this to write out things that I need more details on throughout my day. I use this side of the page to write. If I'm sitting at my computer, I have a thought, I'm writing it down. Something someone says on a phone call that I need to check into, I write it down. All the random goes here, while all the details for the task that I need to do for the day goes here. What do I mean? So if I need to call the doctor, I will put my heading here and put call the doctor. But when I call the doctor, what am I talking to the doctor about? What was the outcome of that call? Did the doctor send a prescription that I need to pick up? What's the cost of the prescription? And how long should I take that prescription? I need space to be able to write that detail so it's in one place. This is what I use my daily petite for. If I do not use all of the sections, or even if I don't use any of the section for a day at all, y'all, I do not stress myself out about it and I do not feel bad about it. I have no issues letting this page go blank. I know sometimes in the community we can feel like, oh my gosh, I have to use this every single day or else I'm failing as a planner. And I don't think that that's so. My planner works with me and for me and not the other way around. I don't work for this planner, okay? And so it, the purpose of planning is not to add more stress to our lives. I usually find something else to do with the space, like make a shopping list or make a project list or something. But if I don't, it's okay and I leave it just how it is. If you have any questions on this and how I use it, please leave me that question in a comment down below and I'll be sure to answer it. Let's go on to the next item in this petite planner lineup. This is the customizable daily <laughs> planner. And you're probably saying to yourself, oh my gosh, girl, <laughs> you already have the dated daily planner. What on earth would you be doing with the customizable daily planner? Well, I think you're gonna be quite surprised. We are about to go into this new launch, new planner launch by Erin Condren. And I mean, y'all, I'm going to be using the Daily Duo, okay? I'm gonna be using the Daily Duo. As you might know, the Daily Duo does not come with a weekly view, and I did not wanna feel like I was missing a weekly view. So I did purchase this customizable um, Daily uh, petite with the credit that I was given and y'all I am in love <laughs> I am totally in love with this all right so let me walk you through this just a little I will be using this just like I would be using a weekly spread in a normal planner I did label this a little bit differently because it is customizable so my week starts on a Sunday I love a Sunday start oh my gosh I love a Sunday start and so my week now starts on Sunday because that's when I'm doing a whole lot of planning etc and setting up for the week so Sunday Monday Tuesday this is Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday and any additional notes I have used the simply gilded subscription box stickers those are what I've used some of them um, I still have Monday Tuesday in this color left over this is the painted petal this is the April box is it the April box this is the March box so this is the March box and April box is on the way so all the stickers you see on here is from that. There were was these little also these little gold stickers work home and this one says play um, on the page. 
Um, and so that's how I have labeled this. I do have the entire week on here with space for additional things, work things, home things, play things, if I need those sections. Um, one of the question was, how was I going to be marking this so I know which week it is? I did put up in gold here. Let's see if you can see that. And it says May 2020 right in here. So I'll find a way to mark it every single week that I use it, right? Because if I don't need it for a week, I don't have to use it. So I will go ahead and find a way to mark that in here. I've also had a little bit of fun decorating. Do y'all see the gold in here? It does not come that way. It comes very, very plain, very plain, super plain. So I'm hoping you can see that. But I do have these gold leaf up here. Now, let me show you what I used to do the gold leaf. I used, it came in a Simply Gilded subscription box, this um, Jelly Roll metallic pen. So this is what I use and I just colored in the stuff. Yeah, I'm having so much fun with this already. I will be using this for the upcoming week. That's it's labeled for the 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And then the first of y'all it's already the first of May. So it is labeled for that. I'll use it and then I will share an update with you all on my Facebook group. And so that is how I'm going to be using this one. Um, life's organized chaos does use her planner similar to this, like this as well. And so I thought it was a fabulous idea so that I can use it along with my daily um, duo, with my daily petite, and also have my weekly view. I will be doing another video sharing with you how all of that is going to really and truly come together to make one cohesive planning system. I know it can seem quite confusing right now, but I promise you it is going to be as easy peasy and as simple as one, two, three, four. <laughs> it's going to be four. It's going to be four. I promise y'all it'll be four. All right. So there is a, another petite journal that I would like to share with you or a petite planner that I'd like to share with you that I'm going to be putting with this. I'm not going to put it inside of the planner itself and have it on one of the strings because I only want to keep the current three that are in there on the strings. But the last one that I want to include inside that I can take in and out as I need, right? Like this, I can take it in and out as I need it is going to be this Love Grows Moments to Remember. Um, this is a petite planner. It is flanked with rose gold shimmy, y'all. And I thought that this was definitely something that's more appropriate for me now to, to use. This is going to be like a memory keeper for me for just thoughts and feelings and just things that are going on right now that are not usual, that are not the norm, right, in our lives. And so this has the same beautiful uh, painted petal design with the florals because it is from the wedding collection. You do have the boxes that you can put pictures in or different things and write a little blurb or you can even write in here as well. So I'm going to be using this just to document some things that's going on. Um, and it is not, it is not um, dated or anything. So you can choose to use it whenever you want to. You can do it one day a week, whenever. I feel like it's just less pressure. There's no pressure on me to, you got to write it because there's a date in there, right? Um, And so I like this Moments to Remember Petite Planner. Let me know what your perfect petite planner setup would look like, y'all. I am so excited for this and I'm so happy and I just feel all sorts of joy and, and contentment bubbling up inside. I really do. Um, I look forward to giving you all an update on this system soon. 
and also reading about what your perfect petite is in the comment section down below. So go ahead, hit that like button if you appreciate this video. Hit that subscribe button if you want to continue on our journey to planner contentment. And just let me know what your thoughts are on this video. Thank you so much to Tori once again and the Erin Contran team. Thank you so much to everyone that stayed till the end. I will see you all on the very next video. Be blessed and be a blessing.